Good, yeah. <laughs> Good. Um, I imagine it's been a whirlwind last couple of days here. I guess can you just talk us through the emotions and what it's been like, and, you know, now that you're in Edmonton on that. So, yeah, you know, it hasn't really sunk in from the draft. Um, you know, it feels really surreal that I'm, you know, on an NHL camp right now. I'm pretty excited. You know, I've uh, I met with Kyler and. You know, he's my roommate, so you know, he's taught me a lot and, you know, kind of uh, showed me around here. So it's been, uh, it's been fun meeting with him. I know Evan Bouchard, so there's, you know, there's a lot of good, uh, there's a good group of guys here, so it's been a lot of fun. What about that connection with Evan? How cool is it to be here with uh, a good friend like him? Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Uh, you know, seeing him go to Edmonton, and when Edmonton was, you know, picking in the second round, I was like, oh, that'd be unbelievable if I go play with Evan. You know, we're, we're really good friends. We, you know, we go for lunch in the summer all the time, so it's, uh, it's, it's, it's real fun, yeah. What are you hoping to work on for Rookie Cam? Uh, just working on scoring, I think. Uh, you know, coming out of last year, you know, I put a lot more pucks in the net than I did the year before. So um, I'm just working on scoring more and being tougher to play against. I think those are the biggest things for me. What do you attribute that offensive burst, I guess, from the one year to the next? Uh, I think just confidence. Um, I started playing with a lot more confidence in my, next year, in, my, in my third year, and I think it really paid off for me. I was a, uh, you know, I just, yeah, I think, you know, just, yeah, just confidence, I'd say, for sure. Do you feel NHL ready? Yeah, I think, uh, I don't know. I think, you know, I've uh, I developed a lot over the year, and I think I'm you know, going to have a good push to try and, you know, help this team get better, and, you know, I hope I can do whatever I can to you'll be there. How, how does your approach change now that you know where you're going to go in September or you know what camp you're going to go to? I know or it's, it's going to be a lot of uncertainty for that. How does it change your approach now? You're, you know where your destination is. Uh, yeah, I think, you know, even last year, you know, being in your draft, you're kind of nervous every game. Uh, you, know, you don't really know, you know who's watching or who's writing stuff down. So, um, you know, it's kind of tough to play sometimes, but it's really fun to know that I'm, a, I'm part of a great organization and franchise. So I'm just really happy to be here. Sitting there, waiting for your name to be called, I guess, what's that like? Uh, you know, you, know, you, uh, you kind of think about like, leading up to the draft, you know, what's going to be like, but it's, you never really get the, the feelings. I think it's, it's so hard to describe, you know, what the, all the emotions that are going through your head. Even when, like, right when I got called, I was just like, I don't even know how to describe it. It was just so special and, yeah. Do you do your own mock draft? Do you have an idea where you might go, or is uh, it the blue type thing? I don't know. I try to kind of stay away from that stuff. I just, you know, want to go to a good team that's going to help me develop. And I think, you know, I found that here, and I'm, I'm really excited to get stuff started. Now, being here, I guess, what are you looking to take out of this these few days? Uh, just, just, uh, you know, obviously, there's a lot of, uh, you know, unbelievable players who came through this, and they obviously you know, know what they're doing to develop eyes, to get to develop guys. So, I'm just trying, you know, take in everything I can, and you know, talk to as many people and see uh, how much I can develop. And uh, is this your first time in Edmonton? Yes, it is. Have thoughts on the city and the area? I didn't know it was going to be this hot, actually. I, <laughs> I thought it was going to be a little cooler than Toronto, and it's uh, apparently it's a nice day in Toronto right now, and it's, it's pretty hot here. So it's, uh, it's a beautiful city. Uh, yeah, it's, just, it's, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful city. I'm looking forward to playing in this building, potentially? Oh, for sure. Uh, I, yeah, I heard it was a new building. I obviously knew. I saw pictures of it, but I didn't know it was going to be like this, uh, this nice on the inside. It's, it's just so beautiful, like the dressing room and even the rink. It's just it's, it's a real nice spot. Coming into camp in October, I guess, in September, I guess, what do you feel you need to kind of improve it or work on it to have a legitimate shot of it sticking around? Uh, I think just scoring and uh, being harder to play against are the biggest things for me. I want to you know, be a guy who uh, you know, makes a, you know, has a real push every shift and you know, creates offense and uh, you know, is reliable in the D zone too. So. How important was Ivan Holyfield to your development, especially being here now at an age camp and uh, Ivan Holyfield coming here in the summer? Yeah, you know, Helenka, you know, playing with a lot of top players of, uh, from Canada and playing against, you know, all the rest of the top players in the world for that age group, it's, uh, you know, it's fun. It's, it's fun, uh, you know, being able to play with those guys and make a lot of friendships. That's where I met Evan, or I met him earlier, but I got to play with him again there, and it was, uh, it was a really great experience.